The topic of my today's lecture is fluid homeostasis. This homeostasis is also known as water balance. Body maintain loss and gain of body fluid volume. Maintain body maintain gain and loss. Body maintain gain and loss of body fluid. Of body fluid volume. And the hormones help to regulate this balance. The fluid balance in homeostasis is important in which the organs maintain water and control the water by osmoregulation. Fluid balance results in controlled water in the body by the process called osmoregulation osmoregulation okay when the fluid volume decreases it causes an increase in sodium ions or sodium contraction when body fluid volume decreases its results results in an increase in sodium concentration sodium concentration increases when fluid volume decreases then the sodium concentration increases the this sodium concentration increases in the blood and increased sodium stimulate os uh, osmoreceptor in hypothalamus. Increased sodium concentration it stimulate osmoreceptors in hypothalamus. The osmoreceptor in hypothalamus hypothalamus stimulate posterior pituitary posterior pituitary to release anti diuretic hormone or a D H. This antidiuretic hormone target collecting ducts of kidney. This target collecting ducts of kidney. The collecting ducts of kidney effects or causes water reabsorption effects water reabsorption the water reabsorption results in an increase in plasma volume increase in plasma volume and the fluid volume is maintained in the body. This is the process of fluid homeostasis. Just like I have told you that as the sodium concentration of the body fluid volume decreases, so as the sodium concentration increases in the blood. As the sodium concentration increases, this stimulates the osmoreceptor in the hypothalamus. This osmoreceptor in the hypothalamus stimulates, stimulates posterior pituitary. Posterior pituitary जो होती है वो release करती है anti-diuretic hormone. Anti-diuretic hormone target करता है collecting ducts of kidney को. जब ये इसको target करता है तो 
देन इट अफेक्ट दी वॉटर रीअब्सॉर्बन वॉटर जो होता है वो रीअब्सॉर्ब हो जाता है सारा और ये रिजल्ट करता है इन मेंटेनेंस ऑफ दी प्लाज्मा वॉल्यूम और ये प्लाज्मा वॉल्यूम जो होता है वो इंक्रीज हो जाता है इसका और मेंटेन हो जाता है तो ये स्टूडेंट्स सारे थे टॉपिक्स थे डिफरेंट फॉर होमियोस्टासिस मैकेनिज्म थे इनशाला माय नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विल बी अबाउट दी आई विल डिस्कस दी मास्टर ग्लैंड ऑफ द बॉडी दैट इज कॉल्ड पिटूट्री ग्लैंड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर लेटेस्ट एंड मोर रेलिवेंट वीडियोस थैंक यू